Good morning, good morning. I'm going to just let this run for just a second. As you guys know who normally watch on Monday, it takes a few minutes for everybody to come in. So as we are setting up and getting ready, if you wouldn't mind letting me know where you're from, if you joined in with us this weekend uh, for the HOA conference and all of that fun stuff. Um, and this is a really great time if you have questions about um, getting into, sorry, I felt like a hair on my nose or something, getting into the, um, I gotta stop saying um, goodness gracious, getting into the conference dashboard or if you're having any issues, we can troubleshoot those while you're here as well. Uh, so if you have any questions, just let me know. I know earlier the Little Learning Farm said trying to sign in to watch videos, I purchased the VIP membership. And the email with the link I received is not taking me to the dashboard. So um, we're probably going to have some of those. The um, the emails with the links were for Zoom links. And they did have the conference dashboard link. And I'm going to go over that with you guys in just a second for those of you that joined us that are having a hard time finding it. Because it's actually right on our front page on the website. So, all right. Good morning. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I still haven't got the YouTube notification, but that's just fine. Thank you for joining me, guys. And if you joined us this weekend, thank you for joining us. I My voice is like, it's dying <laughs> from talking <clears throat> so much this weekend and just talking on for the online event and talking just to people I don't you know normally talk to all day long. And so bear with me if like my voice goes in and out. I promise I'm okay. So this weekend uh, was the 2020 Home Centers of America virtual conference. Obviously, it looked a lot different than the in-person conference normally does. And uh, this video today is two things. Uh, the first thing is we, are, we do have our garden collab still this week. So I'm going to go over very quickly those garden collaborators, garden door collaborators and then you can find them in the description of this video. And then the rest of the video is going to be talking about a recap of the 2020 conference. So good morning to everyone who is coming in. Ozark's homesteading. She, she says, watch the biggest part of the conference. Always something to learn. It was great going to watch more. Corey, good morning. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Food Force. Good morning, Kaylee. Uh, Casey, Cassie or Casey, Cassie, I think get an error when trying to watch replays. Um, that's probably your computer. I did. I have gotten that this morning from one other person. Um, and so apparently there's a Vimeo thing that your computer might block it. So I would try again, maybe in a different browser, but if you still have issues, you can just email me and we can see how we can get started on that. All right, let me run through the garden tour collaborators with you guys really quick. That way you can check them out this week. If you don't know the garden tour is part of the how to grow your own food series and i would really love it if you guys go check out these collaborators they're amazing they're watching their gardens tediously and teaching you how to grow so this week's collaborators we only have three if they remembered <laughs> we have um alderman farms is with us they are down in mississippi great greenhouse setup it's amazing VW Family Farm is in Arkansas, I believe. They have a huge garden set up. Uh, you should definitely check them out. And then Mother Utter Farm. I don't know if they're going to get a video up. I know they've been, they've been impacted by the fires in California and out west. So just give everybody some grace because we're all a little bit busy this time of year. But you can check them out. And you can check out the playlist as well to see past garden door collaborators as well. All right. So let's see here. Casey. Awesome. Good. All right. I didn't say it right the first time then. Good morning, Amy Jackson, David. Her password doesn't work. Okay. Try a different browser. And then if that doesn't work, just email me, amy at homesteadersofamerica.com and we will get you set up. All right. So conference this year. Again, if you guys have any questions, you can definitely put them in the chat and I will try to go over them. I am going to show you a screen share of the conference dashboard. So if you did not get to join us for conference, the virtual conference online, there is still time. The virtual conference is actually up for a week online. And if you buy a ticket, then you can watch it. It just won't be live anymore. Like you won't be able to ask questions. 
Uh, you could ask questions in the comment section, but you can't ask them live like you are doing with me right now. And so you can buy a ticket if that's still online, or you can all um, just buy a VIP membership and all of the conference will be up in the VIP member dashboard starting this weekend. So after Friday. So if you are already a VIP member, then you will get to watch it as you would always. Uh, the VIP membership is great in that sense because we record our conference speakers every year and then we throw them up in the dashboard. Except this year it's a little bit quicker because when we have an in-person event, it takes us several weeks to kind of render down videos and get them uploaded and stuff like that. So we had a great conference. We, I was actually pleasantly surprised that so many of you guys joined us. We had probably hundreds and hundreds of people join us throughout different times of the day. And then we were, you know, surpassing a thousand people. So it was pretty incredible that everyone was able to interact with speakers online. In fact, maybe even more so because you were able to ask questions and get them answered right there instead of having to wait for the Q&A or having to hustle through, you know, a thousand people sitting in an auditorium. So it was really fun. I think it went pretty seamlessly. Um, we did have some technical issues with the Rory Feek live stream that was supposed to be here on YouTube. I think YouTube was just being glitchy that night. And so we had to take it to his Facebook page, but he is going to send me a full recording of that. Cause I know a lot of you missed it. So once I get that recording, I'm going to probably just live stream it or, you know, do a premiere here on YouTube so that everyone can watch it. And, um, but those of you who did watch it, we got really great feedback on that. So thank you for being with us and sticking in there during that time. Um, so a couple of things we, I want to show you guys the conference dashboard and then that way for those of you who are having issues and then I'm going to, I'm just going to do it really quickly. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about the conference. Let me just remember how to do this. La la la. Um, I don't want to do a screen recording. Sorry. Oh, well, I can't share my screen. Oh, please. Let me fix this. In the meantime, if you joined in on the conference, can you tell me what was your favorite part? What did you learn the most? or what was something new that you learned that you didn't know before. We had um, we had speakers like Joel Salatin that were alive. Um, John Moody talked about Elderberry. That was a really fun one. I, I did get to see some of that. We had some pre-recorded lectures as well, which we're gonna go over in just a second. So let me now try to screen share. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's see if you can see that. Yes, you can see that. Awesome. All right, so let's go over this really, really quickly, uh, just for those of you who are asking questions about how to get to the conference dashboard. And I'm gonna show you guys who do not have tickets that did wanna watch the conference where to go. So this is the Homesteaders of America page. So you just type in homesteadersofamerica.com. Up here, you can hover over the conference tab and you can click 2020 conference dashboard. It's really that easy. I know that um, some of you received a link and it, um, it it was very maybe confusing, I think, because there was a lot of text. So this is the conference dashboard. It's very straightforward and simple. And right here, it says this is the official HOA conference dashboard. If you don't have a ticket for this year, click here. And so at that point... Once you buy tickets, um, we, and maybe we need to, maybe this is where some confusion is. We will send you an email and you will get the information to log in. And so maybe we haven't set that right up right yet. So we'll look into that too. So that gives you the schedule, which of course you don't need anymore. And it gives you conference apparel, the conference plan, not conference planner, the homestead planner, and then limited stock apparel. And so I want to go through that really quickly. We do have a pop-up shop. It is still open, but it ends right here, Sunday, October 18th. So that is coming up. You guys can still take advantage of that. Um, oops. But it's only until Sunday. 
So this has stuff in it that we don't ever have, <laughs> ever. We never have this stuff at conference because it's just a lot of stock to keep on hand. So we have, you know, stainless steel cups. We have a better on the homestead decal, a Christmas stocking, a Christmas ornament. We even have PJs. Like, what? And you can click on them, and they do have different colors that you can get, which is kind of cool, right? There's a blanket. Um, we do have some people asking about hats. There are a few hat versions. Um, and you can go through here and see which ones you like best. The ones that we normally have, I believe is this one. And you can kind of just go through and see which one you want. We also have sweatshirts. A lot of you were asking for sweatshirts this year. So we do have those. Um, oh, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even showing you anything. Stop. I'm not even showing you the, hold on. Let me screen share the other window. Here we go. Ah, look at that. Now you can see. <laughs> For guys. See, I'm not tech savvy. Whatever. Let's go back up here. See all of the things that I was talking about. Ta-da. PJs, blankets, hats. Uh, okay, so we were at the sweatshirts. And love learning about goats. This is awesome. Yay. All right. Um, we do have Carhartt sweatshirts. A lot of you asked which sweatshirt I was wearing during the event. I was wearing this Homesteaders Bella and Canvas adult unisex sweatshirt. Um, and there are different colors that you can choose from. I had the navy. The navy is the one that I had. And just keep in mind that these are um, unisex. So they're not. <laughs> I know. Sorry. You guys were just looking at a weird screen. And then we have our regular short sleeve t-shirts. And we have some long sleeve shirts. And we do have women's, the fitted one. And that's that's what we have. Uh, so cash imprints is the one that we're doing the order through. And this is on the page that I had taken you to. Let me go back to where I was so you can see. It is not on the conference apparel site. So if you're wanting to get apparel, you can't just go here and click apparel. You've got to go to conference and then conference dashboard. My computer's going to be slow since I'm on a video. And then you need to scroll down here. And this one, get your conference apparel hats and more right here. That's the first one. Here is the homestead planner that we have. Um, if you guys have not checked that out, I really encourage you to because we are getting limited in the number of planners that we have. I did just put uh, the order in for the planners. So if you were wanting to get them, a lot of them are selling. <laughs> so here it is. And you can kind of check that out. Um, we have a, a blog post all about it where you can see all of the wonderful things that are in it. And we are really excited about that planner this year. We have some giveaways coming up for the planner, but you know, don't bank on that. If you're like me, I never want anything. And then we do have the regular conference store where there is very limited stock that we already had on hand. And um, you can just kind of go through here. And this is also where the 1776 decals are and the homesteader decals are, which I need to take a better picture of. But it just says, I don't know why it's cut off, but it just says homesteader, you know, kind of like the Outer Banks decals, but it says homesteader and it says life is better on the homestead. All right. So going back to the conference dashboard. Do, 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 do. I want to show you guys how to get there and how to make it work for you. So going down past this, you will see, you know, the, our sponsors, our vendors, there's giveaways. Don't mind these ads. We have a ton of giveaways on the website this year. So we have those awesome cups that you guys liked and apps from layman's homesteaders of America t-shirt. Not sure if it'll be that color or not, but we will try to get one to you. An incubator from Brincia. We have 50, 50, $50 gift cards from 
McMurray Hatchery. So you would win one of those. 50 people would win a planner. And then just all of this stuff from Haas Tools, which is absolutely amazing. There's also, you can enter to win one of two $65 gift cards from Layman's. And there's a nice discount below uh, for Layman's right there. So then we get into the conference videos. Of course, at this point, they're all pre-recorded. Some of them were live. You can just simply click on which one you want to watch. If you did not buy a ticket, you're going to see a screen come up that says password required. That is where you're seeing people ask, where do they put the password? That is where you put the password. If you have a password, please don't share your password. Um, we will send that to the ticket holders that get them because that password is for your login only. And you can see that there are people commenting on the videos, asking questions, and our speakers are supposed to come back and reply to however many they'd like to for however amount of time they would like to. So you can still ask your questions if you would like to and have the possibility of the speaker coming back and responding to you if you need any help with that. So they're all there. We are missing Melissa K. Norris's video. We're working on that, getting that uploaded. For some reason, it's giving us some issues. Otherwise, everyone else is up. Let me see if the Q&A is up. Oh, yep. Even the Q&A speaker panel is up as well. We did pull the Facebook videos from Facebook for Rory's um, talk, but I am going to try to upload a new one. So you can also watch the Q&A panel if you would like to, which was really good. We had a lot of good discussion. Um, all right. When are we doing the drawings? We are doing the drawings either today or tomorrow. And so we will um, email everyone. I mean, well, unless we should wait, we might have to wait till the end of the week since people will We'll have to wait till the end of the week um, since the conference is open the end of till through the end of the week. So we'll wait and do it next Monday. And what we will do is um, just email all of the winners that win and the product will become will be coming directly from the sponsor or donator with the exception of the cups. I have the cups and um, we have the T-shirts, T-shirt and the planner. So we'll send those out as well. So it won't be till the end of this week or on Monday is when we'll draw. So um, conference went great. We had a fabulous time. We learned so much. Even I learned so much. Um, we had some of our team members come down and we rented a house nearby. We were able to kind of use it as conference headquarters, which I think worked out really great. So you guys are seeing some pictures of that and just building community and building our team with fellowship really just being together and learning about each other more and interacting more and it was just a wonderful time to be together I know just wondering when your chest freezer gets installed yeah I know so that is a story so we don't actually need that chest freezer <laughs> I mean we, we will definitely use it but um our our real freezer is back here we actually have two of those upright freezers so you see one behind me there's one on the other side of the wall and um oh we have three and then there's one in this room right here there's a chest there's a chest freezer in here so we have three freezers that are full of meat right now and um then we have the chest freezer my husband found this in home depot i think it was in the middle aisle and it was like really, really cheap. So, all right. So Homesteader 50 with Ricky and Martha. So, yeah. So the conference was live. It wasn't pre-recorded conference. It was live. Um, and we did have some pre-recorded videos. But the conference itself was live. Um, Joel was live. Most of the, well, all the speakers on Saturday were live. So what I was saying is we now have them recorded. So they, they're recorded from being live and now they're on the website. So, um, so anyhow, it was a great time and we are so happy that you guys joined us. We do have a lot of people asking if we are going to do this every year. Um, obviously our goal is to have the in-person conference for 2021. We do have the dates for that already. The conference um, for 2021 is October 9th and 10th. I believe that's what it was. 8th and 9th, not 9th and 10th. 9th and 10th is this year. 
It's always the second week in October. So it's the 8th and 9th next year. So you can put that on your calendar. We do have some speakers already lined up. We have some new speakers that we are working on. Um, though I haven't really dove into that yet, um, just because we're trying to recoup from the conference this year. And if you are interested in learning more information about next year's conference, then please do sign up for our conference e-newsletter. But we do record all of the speakers at the in-person conference and they are put on the VIP member dashboard after the event. Normally it's a month or so after the event. So that's one of the perks to the VIP membership. We are thinking about doing some live, but we, I don't, I don't know that we'll do all of them live just because that's a lot. That's a lot to keep track of. Um, there wouldn't really be anyone to keep track of the chat or anything like that. So we might do a couple of them live just to get everyone kind of give everyone a perk and that can't come to see the event, but I'm not sure that we will do it all live every year. So this was just one of those years that we had to adapt. And I think that we adapted fairly well, I hope, but we are open to any criticisms or ways that we could have done better. That way we know how to do better in the future because that's the only way we grow, right? If you do have any recommendations for the 2021 conference in regard to speakers or demos that you would like to see, um, please either throw them up in the chat or come back and comment on this video um, because I will go through and read those and we kind of just make this big list and then go through what we are able to work with that year and get that year. So I think that's going to be it for me. There's really not much to talk about with a virtual event because it was just all online. Um, it did go, it went well. We really enjoyed interacting with you guys. It was a lot of fun. You guys were really interactive. You had a lot of questions that you wanted to ask. And I think that our speakers did a pretty good job. Definitely check out the speaker Q and a, it is up there now. Uh, obviously you can't watch it if you don't have a ticket for those of you who do have tickets, those passwords will change at the end of this week. So you won't have any access to them unless you have a VIP membership and then only our VIP members can see them. So make sure all of that information, the apparel information is in the description below. Don't forget to check out the garden tour in the description below. The apparel, if you're on YouTube, the apparel that shows up at the bottom of our YouTube video, that's not the apparel that we have on sale right now. So definitely make sure you're clicking on the link in the video description versus just looking at those pictures and going through them. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm losing my voice again, and I want to get off here before it's completely gone. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a great week, and happy homesteading.